What is up guys, Zornaz here, back at again with another video. Before I start, I just want to say that if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe or leave a like. It would mean a lot to me, and it would also show me that you guys enjoy these types of videos. Today I will be explaining how to get into the Limbo page on both Game of the Year Edition and Plants vs Zombies PC Edition. I will also showcase the interesting mini games within the Limbo page. To get into the Limbo page for yourself, all you need to do is make sure you have the Game of the Year edition of Plants vs Zombies, which is on Steam, and Cheat Engine, which I will link in the description below. Open Plants vs Zombies and make sure you're on the main menu screen, which looks like this. After that, go to Cheat Engine and make sure you run it in Administrator mode. When you're in Cheat Engine, click on the top left where you will see a computer with a magnifying glass on it. When you click on that, find a program that is called popcap1.exe or something similar to that. Once you open that program, click on Memory View, which is near the bottom left of Cheat Engine. After that, you should see lines of code. Right click on any of them and click Go to Address. Once you do that, type as follows, 00431CE0. When you type that, click on OK and it should send you to a line of code. Right click on the highlighted code on your Cheat Engine and click on replace with code that does nothing. Once you do that, delete whatever is in the box and just type whatever you want it to be called. I put limbo page. Now you can close Cheat Engine and go into the game and you should have the limbo page unlocked. If you want to get into the limbo page on the Plants vs Zombies PC version, I will leave that in the comments below because I sadly do not have that version to visually show you guys, but I promise I will make the guide as detailed as possible. Now that we got the tutorial out of the way, let's showcase the minigames in the Limbo page. Before I start, I just want to point out that I will not be doing any of these minigames due to the fact that they are just copies of minigames we already have now, and because they are not that interesting to dig into. Anyways, let's begin. The first minigame I'll be playing is called Sunny Days. So when I loaded into this minigame, everything was pretty normal until a HUGE sun dropped from the sky. Other than the huge sun drops, this game was pretty normal, and to be honest, it was pretty boring, especially because it was 4 flags long. This game mode was too easy because of the huge sun drops. I built a lawn defense so fast because of those sun drops, and it got really boring really quick. I'm going to rate the enjoyability of this minigame a 4.8 out of 10 because it got really boring right before Flag 2. And the hardness of this minigame is going to have to be a 0.3 out of 10 because it was only hard for about the first 4 zombies. The overall rating for this minigame is going to have to be a 3.7 out of 10 because it just isn't fit for a minigame. The next minigame we have on the list is called Unsodded. As soon as you load into the game, the first thing you'll notice is that the lanes on the bottom and the top have no grass on them, meaning I couldn't place plants there. Other than that, everything was pretty normal, until the zombies came out on the lanes which had no grass. To kill the zombies on those parts, all you really need is plants that shoot to other lanes, like the 3 Peter or the Starfruit. This minigame was honestly pretty fun to me. You really have to think about how to place your plants and how to defend with only 3 lanes to place on. I'll give the enjoyability rating of this minigame an 8.3 out of 10 only because it was 4 flags long, so it kinda got boring. If it was 3 flags, it probably would've been a 10 out of 10. And for the hardness of this minigame, I'll give it a 5.6 out of 10, because while it was hard, you got the gist of things after flag 1 came. After that, the defense plan was pretty easy. The overall rating for this minigame is gonna have to be a 8.7 out of 10, because it was really balanced and just really fun, but it wasn't too hard. The next minigame we have is called Big Time. When you load into this minigame, the first thing that you'll notice is that there are three plants in the seed packet selection that catch the eye. The Sunflower, the Walnut, and the Marigold. When selecting your seed packets, you can see that they are so huge. So obviously, I selected them to see what they would do. When I placed the Sunflower down, it dropped two sun instead of one. And for the walnut, I think it just had double health. And the marigold dropped two coins instead of one. I think the difference with these huge plants is that they are just two times better. But the question is, why are there only three big plants? 
I think it's because the plan of this minigame was probably to make every plant huge and better, but it got cut out early and because of that, they only got done with three plants. When playing this, it was honestly really boring. Your defense was set up so fast and the sunflower was so overpowered. Same to the walnut too. It was also really boring because it was four flags long. Okay, but for real, why are all these minigames four flags long? Anyway, I'm gonna rate the enjoyability of this minigame a 0.4 out of 10 because it was just really boring after the second zombie came out. And the hardness of this minigame is easily a 0 out of 10 because it just wasn't hard at all. The overall rating for this minigame is a 0 out of 10 because the plants are just very overpowered and it's just too easy. The next minigame we have is called Air Raid. Okay, so I open this game and oh my goodness, there's so many balloon zombies. I started the game thinking that the first zombie was going to be a normal zombie, but it was a balloon zombie. Like, I just started the game and I didn't have a hundred sun to use a blover. This minigame was really hard and you really had to think about what you were gonna place and when because the balloon zombies just kept coming. The enjoyability of this minigame is going to have to be a 6.2 out of 10 because it was just so hard and that made it not enjoyable, but it was good if you wanted a challenge. The hardness of this level is going to have to be a 10 out of 10 because I finished my cacti defense on the last flag because I had to keep using blovers. The overall rating for this minigame is going to have to be a 7.6 out of 10 because it's good if you want a challenge, just not good if you want to have fun. The next minigame we have is called Ice Level. When you click on this minigame, it sends you straight to a day level with the first 6 plants you unlock besides the sunflower. There's no sun drops, and on top of that, you only have 50 sun. After about 20 to 30 seconds, you hear the game over sound, but the game doesn't end. If you guys watched my iceberg video, I explained that this minigame was a mystery. Turns out I was wrong. Someone in the comments corrected me on this, and I want to give him a shout out. Thank you for letting me know about this. Apparently this minigame was an April Fool's joke during development for a fake extra world, but the developers never actually made it into a world. But this April Fool's joke did inspire the zombie yeti, which is pretty cool. I won't give a rating for this one because it doesn't even work. The next minigame we have is called Zen Garden. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to play this mini game. And the game crashed. Whenever I clicked into this mini game, the whole game just crashed. But it's pretty obvious what the mini game was gonna be because of the title of it. This mini game does show that the Zen Garden was gonna be a mini game instead of its own thing, though. That sounds weird to say. Anyway, since it doesn't work, I won't be giving a rating to this one. The next minigame we have is called High Gravity. When playing this, everything seemed pretty normal until I placed a cabbage bolt. My cabbage bolt wasn't shooting at the zombie, but it was shooting more so in front of the zombie. Every time the zombie came closer, the cabbage bolt shot even closer as if it was just refusing to hit the zombie. I even tried placing a forward shooting plant like the cacti and that didn't even work. The only thing that seemed to kill the zombies was a potato mine, and I sadly failed to beat this minigame. So, I searched up how to play this minigame, and I found out that the only plant you can use is the fume shroom and insta-kill plants like the chomper and the cherry bomb. With that knowledge, I replayed this minigame so I could give it an actual rating. For my defense in this minigame, I used two rows of fume shrooms and a row of tall nuts, and luckily, it worked. One cool feature I notice about this minigame is that the balloon zombie's balloon pops after 3 tiles due to the gravity which was luckily where I had my tall nuts placed. The enjoyability of this minigame is gonna have to be a 2.7 out of 10 because the only plant you can use is the fume shroom and the insta kill plants. The hardness of this minigame is a 8.6 out of 10 because it was really hard to set up my defenses, but the insta kill plants saved the day while I set up my defense. The overall rating for this minigame is a 3.4 out of 10 because it's just so boring if the only plants you can use is the fume shroom and insta-kill plants. To me, this was more of a challenge than a minigame. I see why they didn't add this minigame. The next minigame we have is called Can You Dig It? When I clicked this minigame, it sent me straight to the game. 
All the lanes were filled with walnuts and there was a conveyor belt at the top of the screen that was giving me pea shooters to place. The whole point of this minigame is just to dig the walnuts and place the pea shooters to defend the lawn, which in my opinion makes no sense. Your lawn is basically already protected due to the fact that all the lanes are filled with walnuts, so this minigame was pretty boring from the start. The enjoyability of this minigame is gonna have to be a 0 out of 10 because I had no fun playing this. And for the hardness of this minigame, it's gonna have to be a 0 out of 10 because you already had all the walnuts someone can need. The overall rating for this minigame is a 0 out of 10. The next minigame we have on the list is called Tree of Wisdom. When you click on this minigame, it just sends you straight to the Tree of Wisdom. This shows that the Tree of Wisdom was gonna be a minigame and not its own thing. I won't give this a rating since there's nothing to really rate. The next two minigames are not really minigames but more so just add-ons so I won't be rating them but I will show what they are. The next minigame we have is called Intro. When you click this minigame, it just plays the intro. Nothing to really say on that, but here it is. The next and last minigame on the list is called Upsell. When you click on this minigame, it just sends you straight to a video. Here it is. This video was what popped up on your screen when you finished the demo of the game. It was made to get people to buy the full version of the game. When you click the get full version button, it sends you to the steam page of the game and it also opens up this page which also sends you to the steam page of the game if you click the buy now button. Those are all the interesting mini games on the limbo page and I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe or like to let me know that you guys like content like this and it also means a lot if you do. Have a good day and peace.